I just finished class, but I wanted to talk to you about how we, what we're, we're going to be talking a little bit this week. We're going to go into more details, but I want to talk to you right now about how you should focus on behavior changes as opposed to focusing on a plan. Y'all know I love podcasts. Well, I was listening to this one. His name is Mike Milner and he's a health coach and he was talking about plans versus behavior changes. And it made so much sense to me, so I knew I wanted to tell you about it. Y'all know I'm a big fan of having a plan. Having a plan takes some of the guesswork out and it makes it so much easier. Some of you have come to me because you didn't even know what macros were or how much you should eat, how much you could eat, how much you shouldn't eat. <laughs> some of you have never even picked up a dumbbell before. So I understand that having a plan is a good thing. I also believe in investing in a coach. That's why I have a coach. Having a community like this for accountability and for all the content coming your way right along with other people is so important. However, if you simply come here, check the boxes off because I tell you to, you're focusing too much on the plan and not enough on changing your behaviors. Here's the thing. Most plans work. Even some of the popular diet programs work, but they work in short term. If you follow the rules, you lose the weight. If you check off the boxes, you lose the weight. The problem is you can't make those plans last long term. After you finish the plan, you default to your former ways because you didn't focus on changing your behavior. You focused on the plan and said to do this, so I'm gonna do this. Listen, I want you to hear this quote that he said and it's like, the behavior is more important than the plan. Yeah, that's what I said. <laughs> Things don't change when our plan changes. They change when the behavior changes. So if your behavior does not match the plan, you are not gauging the efficiency of the plan. Outcomes and consequences are behavior-based, not plan-based. This means you can change the plans all the time, y'all. You can jump from one diet to another diet and you think that's where the answer lies, but it doesn't. It lies in changing your behavior. This is why it's so important to live out a plan. I want you to live out a plan that encourages healthy behavior changes that are actually sustainable. I want you to ask you this. How many times have you joined a new diet only to lose weight? And then once you hit your goal, you revert to your former habits. That's because you didn't focus on your behaviors. You simply did what someone else told you to do. And when you do that temporarily, your results are temporary. I'm not claiming it's easy to change your behaviors, but a great way to begin is by looking deep. Look at who you want to be. I don't necessarily mean I want to be thin or I want to be fit. I mean, who do you really, really want to be? Who do you want to become? I would assume that all of us in this group want a strong mindset. That's why we joined the group, right? We want to develop behaviors that improve all the quality of our life in all areas. But wouldn't you agree that changing up here can improve all the areas of your life, including your body? That's why behavior is far more important than the plan. I want you to ask yourself who you want to be. I want you to ask yourself how do you become the person that things are behavior based, that you are changing your behaviors because that's who you want to be. I want, to ask, I want you to ask yourself why you want to become that person. What is the deeper benefit of becoming that person? Who else will benefit if you become that person? I want you to really think about this because even the process of changing your behaviors can be checking things off if you aren't too careful. Maybe you want to become a person who strength trains three times per week. You want to develop those behaviors that help you become that person because you know strength training will improve your bones, your posture, your muscle mass, and your balance. You also know that strength training is going to give you energy. But... If you begin doing it just to check it off your list, you could be making it more about, I need to do this, as opposed to the actual behavior. I don't want you to label it as good versus bad. Strength train three days per week. 
you're good. If you did, you're done if you're bad. This type of thinking is detrimental when it comes to changing your behavior. Y'all, it is really, really a mental game. When you decide to strength train on any given day, do it, but don't do it just to check it off your list. Think about why you're doing it. Does it move you closer to becoming the person you want to be? I want you to ask these questions every single time until you become that person. Here's another example. You want to choose to eat whole foods 80% of the time because the way it makes you feel, that is a behavior change. You want to eat more protein because you've experienced it reduces your sugar cravings. That's a behavior change. You want to walk most days of the week because you want to keep up with your grandkids or your kids or you just want to feel better. That's a behavior change. When you're able to connect the dots between your behaviors and who you want to become, you begin to focus more on behaviors as opposed to a plan. Again, there's something to be said for having a plan or a challenge that works long term, but one that you can actually make a lifestyle. I certainly have things I do and I believe work within my pivot program. But I hope that within this group and my posts, you also see that I'm trying to help you focus on a mindset and behavioral changes that as much as anything else. Because plans work temporarily. Challenges work temporarily. Lifestyle changes and behavior changes work forever. If I've said anything that made you wanna shout, <laughs> I wanna help you, send me a message. I am only a text or an inbox away. You can create a lifestyle, but you have to be willing to put in the work, not just the physical work, but the mental work. All right, that's it. I wanna thank y'all for coming to my TED Talk, and I hope you're loving all the mindset coaching that I'm giving you. This week, I'm gonna have some really good things coming your way, and of course, we're gonna be talking about this, where we talking about our behavior versus plans. Y'all, I just hope that it really pours into you and that everything that I'm telling you in these posts helps you change your mindset. One mindset moment at a time. Okay, I hope that y'all have a great Monday and we will talk soon. Bye.